Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99, and I'm back with another video today. Uh, today, I just wanted to do a quick video talking about uh, a fight that happened today on June 21st, 2000, 2003. So, 15 years ago, man, I was like, damn, I feel old now. But uh, the fight I'm talking about is uh, Lennox Lewis versus Vitaly Klitschko. Uh, this was Lennox Lewis, his last fight. Um, this was one of those fights where a lot of people are going to kind of go back in the uh, it's just one of those fights now in boxing history that a lot of people are going to go back and talk about and just kind of say, you know, what if, you know, they're always going to say that what if factor, you know, like what if they continue to let the fight go on. But uh, and the reason I say that is because this fight, well, let me break down the history first. You know, the, originally Lennox was supposed to uh, be in talks to get a rematch with Mike Tyson. But uh, after that fell through, he was going to fight uh, Kirk Johnson. And him and Kirk Johnson were going to fight. And then uh, Vitaly Klitschko, he was going to get thrown in the mix as the uh, WBC uh, mandatory. You know, he's going to be next in line after uh, Lennox Lewis and Kirk Johnson fought. But uh, after Kirk Johnson uh, pulled out because of an injury, you know, Vitaly Klitschko, he stepped in. And uh, right off top, I already said to myself, man, you know, this is going to be a good fight for Lennox Lewis to take, you know, after having like a year layoff, you know, he was off for almost a year since the Mike Tyson fight. And of course, uh, Mike Tyson, he did pull out of the, the rematch too. I'll throw that in there. You know, he didn't want to do the rematch, but uh, yeah, Klitschko, you know, for a first fight back after a year, that was definitely a tough fight for uh, Lance Lewis to take. And you know, j you know, just on paper, you know, for me, you know, I already seen some of Klitschko's fights before that. And I knew that this was going to be a hard fight for him. And, the proof was there, man, from round one. Klitschko, from round one, Vitaly, he really came to make it a tough fight for Lewis. Uh, you know, Lewis definitely showed some uh, ring rust a little bit from the year off. Uh, you know, I think just a little bit of lack of training, you know, in this one. But uh, he still had enough to kind of keep him going throughout the fight. You know, enough um, experience on what to do when he's in trouble. Because from round one, it was kind of like a strength match, you know. They both were trying to... Uh, put their strength on each other to see who was the strongest while, you know, Vitaly, he was really turning it on with the combinations, catching, uh, you know, Lewis early, even in the second round, you know, he was able to catch him with some good right hands and kind of rock Lewis a little bit. But like I said, Lewis, he's, he's got that, he's got those veteran tricks where he was able to kind of, you know, hold on when he was rock, kind of play possum a little bit and throw uh, Vitaly off. But um, the reason, the most memorable part of this fight kind of kicked in in round three whenever uh, Lewis threw that like double jab and landed a big right hand that opened up that nasty cut right over uh, Vitaly's left eye. And um, that's when the blood started pouring. You know, that's whenever the pace pace of the fight just started changing, you know. Uh, from there, it was kind of like Vitaly, he was still holding his own, but since he was kind of new to having like being cut like that, it was kind of like making him gas a little bit and kind of throw him off. So Lewis was kind of able to capitalize on more punches there, but um. Round four was a little bit, you know, the same five, you know, back and forth action. But, you know, Vitaly was really standing and holding his own. You know, you know, Klitsch, Klitschko, he was landing some bombs in there. You know, that was waking Lewis up. So Lewis, he was really having to throw his jab and, you know, smother a lot of Vitaly's work, which was how he stayed in the game and still kept it uh, still kept it tied. I say after round four, it was two to two for me, you know, and then five and six were those tough rounds to call, man. It was like back and forth action from both fighters, but Vitaly, he was staying game. So I think about after the end of round six, to me, it was tied, you know, uh, round six is whenever they, they stopped the fight because round, uh, after like round four and five, you know, the blood really started pouring out. Uh, Lewis, he landed some more right hands that just opened up that cheek, you know, Vitaly's face was just a mess, you know, it was a lot of blood, a lot of uh, his lips were swollen and a lot of, you know, blood is getting in his eyes. So. After round six, they, you know, they just had to stop the fight. And, you know, Vitaly, he was pissed. You know, the crowd, they were pissed. Everybody was booing because, you know, they felt he was giving Lewis, you know, a tough fight. But in my eyes, you know, a stoppage is a stoppage. You know, a stoppage comes, you know, it can come from when a guy is helpless on the ropes. It can come from, you know, a guy just taking too much punishment and the referee stops it. But even if a guy's brain is intact and he's still focused, if there's just too much blood and your face is, you know, the flesh is just literally like almost coming off your face, you know, that's, that still calls for a stoppage too, you know. And I mean, that's that's a part of boxing too. So whenever I saw like part of his damn face coming off, you know, it was just like 
the referee, you know, and the fight doctor, they made the right call in my opinion. Yeah, he was holding his own, but you know, blood and like like I said, that just those big that just that big gash, that's a part of having the, you know, call the bad you know, call a stoppage, you know, it wasn't a bad stoppage in my opinion, you know, and all. After the fight, you know, like I said, everybody was booing, you know, Larry Merchant, he was kinda of be a little asshole to Lennox Lewis, you know, you know, kinda of like, Oh wow, you know, you really feel his power, you know, you didn't why were you know and then now you're not like over, you know, now you're not calling him overrated anymore. He was just kind of like talking shit on a, on the load to Lennox Lewis. But, you know, Lennox Lewis was coming back with his, you know, he was like, hey, you know, I stopped him. You know, I was able to stop him. If the fight kept going, I still would have stopped him. So he just held his ground. I mean, overall, it was a good fight for both fighters. And it kind of, um, it was kind of like a passing of the torch. Um, not necessarily, you know, like fully passing because Lennox, he still won. Uh, it was just like Vitaly kind of held his own and made his statement that he's the next best heavyweight you know, to take over after him, you know, and um, I know it's still kind of to, to this day, it still kind of got him salty a little bit because he still wanted that rematch. But, you know, if Lennox Lewis isn't feeling it, he's the champion. He can make the call. I mean, you know, he did the next best thing is just say, hey, y'all, uh, if I'm not feeling it anymore, it's time to go. You know, it was kind of like how I felt whenever Roy, he beat Tarver for the first time. If he didn't have enough, you know, to go into a rematch, why do it? So that's kind of how Lennox Lewis felt. He was just like. I was able to pull this one out off of heart, my experience, but to do this again might be a dangerous thing because it would have been a dangerous thing. So uh, I just feel like he made the best bet to, you know, to call it quits after this fight because it was one of the best heavyweight fights I've seen, you know, back in 2003. Um, still one of the best ones in the past 15 years, in my opinion, because um, these two guys, they were just like big. You know, the big, gigantic heavyweights, you know, six foot, six foot, six foot seven, but they were still so mobile and athletic and they had like great balance. And they were still throwing like a lot of punches and making it look like, you know, King Kong and Godzilla going at it in there, you know, versus like, you know, today's like slower lumbering heavyweights, you know, where they, they gas after one round, you know, they throw a few jabs here and there, then they just kind of dance around and they hold too much, like, it was holding in this fight, but it was more like, you know, one guy trying to outstrength the other, but they were still throwing punches, you know. So I just feel like a lot of these heavyweights now can learn from these big heavyweights. You know, these were the last couple of big heavyweights where they could still move, move and make it a good fight, you know. So um, this is definitely a fight to me that goes down in, you know, the history books. You know, like I said, it's going to be one a lot of people talk about whether they say, you know, I think Vitaly would have won, you know. But we all know who won Lennox Lewis. You know, like I said, he uh, he won a legit stoppage, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this one. You know, it's been 15 years since I've seen this, you know. It hasn't been 15 years since I've seen this fight, of course. But, I mean, I've watched it since then. But, um, you know, it's actually been 15 years since uh, Lennox Lewis uh, retired. And I uh, just want to say it was a really good fight. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Uh, Combo Breaker 99. Make sure you all subscribe to the Jab Effect uh, podcast on um, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.